welcome back. Welcome back. We are going to go into game two here in just a second. Um, and I think it's going to be a pretty good game at that. We've got Washin versus Effort. Taryn versus Zerg should be pretty cool. Okay, well, um, first let me give you a little bit about Hua Xin. Uh His nickname is the Red Sniper. Um, sniper because... Is that what he's named? N yeah, Red he has sniper? a... They call him the Red... Well, for Koreans anyway, I don't know. The Red Sniper. The Red Sniper. <laughs> um, it's because he is really good at sensing what his opponents are weakest at and going to snipe them. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the Red Sniper. <laughs> All right. They also call him the... Yeah, this is kind of funny. The Street Vendor Crackdown Cop. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I, we're going to make him a new nickname by the end of this cast. I didn't even know that these were his nicknames. So they call him that. Well, in Korean, it's a little nicer. but So it's because... Um, like the street vendors in Korea, right? Like they sell stuff. You know, you know how there's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the oh, hot yeah. dogs and whatever. But you need a license for that. But a lot of people don't have one, oh. and they just like to sell. So the cops go around and they go, "Oh, hey, um, you know, let me see your license. You can't sell here." And they'll have to close up shop and leave. So basically, he he does, he keeps his opponents. Oh, there he is. There's our uh, what's it called? The street vendor crackdown cop. Because he doesn't allow his opponents to expand. Like, the guy will try to set up shop in an expansion expansion area, and he'll come by and be like, no, you can't be here. And then the guy can't expand. That's exactly what they told oh, me. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. Oh, that's interesting. All right. So, you know, he doesn't let the, He cracks down on the expansions, basically. And then his third nickname is Princess. Oh, man. This guy has <laughs> terrible nicknames. Watch it. I am sorry. You might be scary. When I watch you play, but now that I've heard your nicknames. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, now here is his opponent, Effort, um, who is fairly new. He is apparently the next on the CJ Zerg line. You know, there's Savior, there's Quanro, and now there is Effort. And again, kind of like with Haya, the CJ coaching staff has been really on this guy, um, giving him a lot of faith to become the next great Zerg, you know? Uh, let's see. He played, uh, like, like we mentioned before, they played before um, at the Shinan Pro League, where he lost to Hwasin. Um Let's see here. Uh, actually, I have a lot more to say about Hwasin. I found out a whole bunch of cute little tidbits and information. Do you have any more terrible nicknames I can make fun of? Because I really, this is just... Well, um, one thing you need to know is that Bisu is his natural enemy, apparently. Um, and every they, Bisu even says something like, oh, um, he's he's like insurance. Like, when I play with him, I know I'm going to win. So there was a whole ordeal. Oh, guys, I'm actually being called out to do a interview with 4GG. So... Uh, all, all yeah, on yeah, you now. I'll be right I'll back, guys. Here. All right. She's got to go do an interview real fast. I'm gonna move. I'm taking over this. This I'm taking over the show now. All right. We haven't had either of the players join the game yet, um, but they should be joining in a little bit here. And um, I think this is gonna be a pretty interesting game. Now, these guys had a pretty uh, impressive round here um, in this series. Um, so I think. Uh, well, in the Pro League series, I should say. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool to see these guys battle it out again. By the way, thank you uh, to all the community sites out there. Um, I know uh, everybody on TeamLiquid.net has been watching. If you don't know about that site, go check it out. It's a great site. Uh, the Ghost of Gamers guys. Um, I know there's a lot of other non-StarCraft sites that have been watching this. I know there's a lot of people on 4chan. We really appreciate uh, that all you guys are watching um, because it keeps me um, getting paid and I can pay my rent. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And thank you again to our sponsors um, at Intel. Uh, go buy something that um, is Intel-related and give Intel lots of money so they can keep sponsoring um, this awesome event. Okay, now we have Effort joining the game here. And I don't know actually when uh, Susie's going to be back. They're basically making her do interviews um, in between these uh, games now. So I don't know. I might be going solo for a while. Um but we'll find out in a little bit. Um, now, keep in mind, um, our other player, uh, Washington, has not yet joined the game. So he's probably getting his mouse settings, his keyboard settings, all that stuff uh, set up perfectly so that it's just like uh, what it's like when he's playing at home. I mean, even your chair height and stuff like that matters. So it's it's pretty critical. Um, the TVZ, I think um, we're going to have the same map lineup as last time. So, again, another one-on-one -on -one map here. Um, we could see some pretty wild stuff coming from the Terran. Um, a lot of good Zerk players tend to try to play defensively um, on these one-on-one -on -one maps, at least early on, until they get a better idea of what their opponent's doing. But, you know, it could go a whole bunch of different ways. Uh, what else can I tell you guys? 
I've been playing a lot of iCup. I, I have kind of I was kind of been active for the last month, and uh, man, I'm out of shape, dude. I uh, I got to get back in there, man. I got to start schooling nerds. I got to do some nerd stomping because I was uh, I was not uh, as good as I uh, remembered uh, me doing. So I think that's what I'm going to do right after these casts. I'm going to go uh, back home and play StarCraft. And um, we're still sitting here waiting. Our player um, should have joined a while ago, so I don't know what's going on. Um, maybe some technical difficulties. Maybe not. We'll get it figured out, though. Um, and uh, thank you again just for tuning in. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, expect more gaming tournaments, not just StarCraft stuff, uh, to be coming from GUM in the future. Uh, we have all sorts of big plans, big plans uh, coming up here. So uh, if you're into esports um, or you want to, you know, you want to get into esports, you're in luck here because we're going to be covering the best of the best of the best in Korea um, in a wide uh, array of games. And I don't know if I'm allowed to say all those games yet, um, but just uh, be ready for some very exciting st- uh, things. Um, and by the way, if you haven't already, uh, check out the uh, BlizzCon VODs. We had some really exciting games there. Savior won BlizzCon. That's kind of a shocker. Um, but I'm happy for him. That's great. And uh, you get to see him speak English at the end. It was great. It was covered by the CGS. I thought they did a great job, so definitely check that out. Uh, I did get to play some StarCraft too, um, and uh, it's getting a little bit better. I still don't like MBS and auto mining and these other features that seem to damage competitive play, but it is looking really good. And plus, I think, hey, even if Blizzard does release that stuff and the community doesn't like it, the game is always moddable. So uh, really exciting, man. StarCraft too. I, can't, I cannot wait. Uh, to be playing that competitively, as well as casting it for you guys. And, of course, Gum TV is going to be very interested in doing something um, for that as well. All right. Uh, I'm just sitting here uh, talking to myself like a madman, waiting uh, for these guys, for uh, Huashin to join the game. Now, remember, Huashin is uh, quite skilled mechanically. Uh, very good macro. Very, very um, good micro as well. Um, and I'm curious uh, what's going to happen with Effort here. Effort barely losing to him last time uh, they encountered each other. So uh, it should be a lot of fun to see um, how this turns out now. Now, there's Effort getting his Zerg face on. Probably going over his previous um, well, his previous games against his opponent as well as his other strategies uh, that he's going to have to execute in this game here. Um, and we have not gotten a shot of Washin. Um, but I'm sure we will get that in a minute. So uh, sit tight. Um, I know it's probably pretty late for most of you if you're watching this. It's probably 4 in the morning. That means you're either up all night or you just woke up. So, um, I don't know, get breakfast or get a, get another beer to top the night off before you, you pass out. Whatever your situation is, um, get ready to sit back and watch a very exciting Terran versus Zerg. Uh, it should be pretty cool. Uh, I don't really know who's going to come out and win this. I think most people are going to guess Washington. Oh, Susie's back here. I gotta gotta micro myself over here. These chairs do not have wheels; they do not slide easily. Okay, I'm back. How did the interview go? It went really well. I actually Good. got him to say something in English, really, um, which I didn't prompt him for. So he actually sat there and thought of it. It was a. Uh, it took a while, but um, but he did it, and That's I was good. really proud of him. So. That's excellent. Actually, a lot of these uh, Korean pro gamers are really interested in learning English. I've been helping Savior out um, with his English, and I've also been teaching uh, Grimto. His English is actually not that bad, but I've been teaching him important words like baller, yeah. uh, jobber. That's another important word. You know. <laughs> so I've been teaching him all the... Uh, the, the, the real words yeah, that the, you should yeah, know. The, 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 yeah, if you want to sound really cool when you're talking. <laughs> but, you know, actually, I want you to check out the interview because uh, he said a couple of words about you. Hopefully it was good. Hopefully I get to keep my job here. Um, but I, uh, I'll have to see what he says about that. Um, I All right. Think, so what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Is there a... Uh, Washington's technical? not in the game yet. I see. Oh, well, before when I was on my way in here, I saw that there was a tech guy inside his booth. Okay, so. yeah, I figured something was going on. All right, well, let me go back to my little... Uh, yeah, let's do of, that. All let's right. do that. Well, Hwasin, apparently, um, also the Koreans say that he's been jinxed from the MSL. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, no. so then because he always loses to the defending champion of the previous oh. season, right? So apparently it's a Gom season 1. Uh he lost to Savior um 2 to 3, Savior being the Pringle season 2 MSL winner from the season before, right? And then the next time around Gom season 2, he lost to Bizu 2 to 3. Who was the Gom Season 1 MSL winner the season before, 
Then he did it again. He lost to Bisu again, mm. who, and you know how Bisu won that twice. And then he lost in arena to Jadong, and Jadong went and won the one before. Oh, so apparently there's cursed. like this little curse jinx thing going on. And he's failed and destined never to win unless he doesn't ever play against the season he has winner to before. Somehow avoid them or something now. Well, that's a pretty interesting fact. I yeah. didn't actually know that. Okay, um, as I was saying earlier, Bisu and Huasin, natural enemies to the death kill or something. I don't know. They um, apparently the are. Sniper. <laughs> <laughs> they are rivals in, in some sense of the word. Um, Bisu even had one game where he uh, pulled out scouts and decided to uh, oh, humiliate Huasin. Yeah, he was just like, That's yeah, awesome. I'm going to use my scouts and, and kill you. And there was a whole ordeal where he even went and said, oh, um, yeah, whenever I play against uh, Huasin, you know, he's insurance because I know I'm going to win. <laughs> and, um, Damn. Uh, like, so between the two of them, I think, I think uh, Bisu is beating him. Or, Bizu has nine wins against him and four losses. Mm. So, yeah. His last ten games, Huasin is at six wins, four losses. Um, and his, actually, matchup is best against Zerg. Oh, really? Yeah. So, um, so we'll see some things about here. I wish I had more things to say about Effort, but again, he's fairly he's just, new. He's so new. If I'm, if I'm um, not mistaken, I think it's season one. Uh, I think he was one of the, the, the player that lo- went uh, two and one against Toss Girl. So he lost one game to Toss Girl. Uh, you can check that out. We have all the VODs archived, so feel free to do that. Um, I think we might be talking here for a while. Uh, oh, no. What? He joined the game and he left. Oh, he's teasing me now. All right, so we might uh, still be um, talking here for a little bit. Uh, oh, he left. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, uh, going, well gone. Oh, he's back. On. He's back. He's and, back. And Gom has said. Uh, please prepare, so now they're going to go. All right, cool. Let's get ready. We're going to be ready this time for this thing to start. <laughs> it's going to happen any second Come now. On. Um, well, actually, no, they're talking again. Oh. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad. Oh. <laughs> Down here at the bottom left, it's going to be Huashin, the Red Sniper. You like that one. I like that. I, I can't <laughs> believe that's his actual nickname, yeah. the Red Sniper. And um, over here is Effort. There's a shot of Huashin. The sniper goggles are on. And there's Effort. Does he have a nickname? Effort does not have a nickname as of right now. Oh, well, there we go. It looks like Huashin oh. is 80% uh, pick to win. 20% for effort. Oh, you know, man. Maybe we can give him a nickname by the end of this game. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see uh, what how his play comes out here. There are some... <gasps> oh, oh, no. Dude, that was one of the best... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that was... The, oh, my God. I'm on, I'm on the big screen. <laughs> um... Let's see here. Okay, so he's going to send out that first scouting overlord. Um, and, of course, he's going to find his opponent pretty easily. It's a one-on-one map. And um, at the same time, I think um, taking a look over here at uh, and that depot placement is going to be um, able to help him mine a little bit more efficiently. They'll mine in a little bit of a straighter line. Here's the first barracks going down. And in fact, Effort is going to go for a hatchery on 12. <laughs> Boom. And the hatchery is starting up now. Now, I, th- I think um, Effort um, is confident that Washington is not going to play aggressively early on if he's going to do a build like that. And uh, here comes the spawning pool now. So a pretty standard build here coming from Effort. Um, nothing out of the ordinary yet. Effort is actually going to scout here with the first drone. Um, I'm a little surprised he did that since the Overlord was going to get there uh, so quickly anyways. 
Look at oh man, look at that micro. Oh man, but both of them actually have incredibly good micro. So the drone will have to back off. The drone looked like he was on wheels for a second. All right, actually, we're going to see a fast expo here from Washington. He gets the barracks out first, gets one or two Marines out, and then goes right for the command center. And Effort is indeed going to get the third hatchery before he gets, um, before he gets uh, the extractor. One drone transfer here to the expansion. When the extractor finishes, we'll see three drones put in there. Now, Edward has two options right now. He can either start to be aggressive, or he can start to really focus on his economy. Um, because with a Terran doing a build like this, it's always possible you can go mass zergling and try to break the front. But if you do that and fail, you're in a lot of trouble. And it may be based heavily on whether or not the scouting SCV survives for much longer. Yeah, I just pulled up a couple more stats here. It looks like on Chu Pongyong, Hwashin has never played on this map in an, uh, in an official match. And uh, Effort actually has, and he won. Once. Oh, okay, so at least Effort has some experience on this map. Here come the Zerglings. They're just going to run right in there and start harassing these uh, Marines. Bam. Oh, the uh, Marines are in terrible position. I think this would not be a bad moment for Hwashin. Um to get a bunker, first of all, and also for Effort to start massing up a lot more Zerglings, but we'll see. You don't want to lose those first few Zerglings. Um, it's just, it's to, I mean, those first few Marines, excuse me. You need a solid Medic Marine base so you can, uh, you know, take out, uh, you know, Mutalists later on. The second scouting SCV has been sent out. Washington's hoping that his opponents stop making Zerglings so he can get a good idea of what's going on here. And indeed, Effort has stopped making Zerglings. And this counterattack actually could be pretty damaging. There's a drone at the ramp to block all entry here. Um. Well, we're going to be in the macro phase now. Nobody's going to opt to be aggressive early on here. Stim is on the way. We're going to see um, the marine range get upgraded next. Spire starting here. So this is a very, very standard uh, build here coming from uh, effort. At the uh, Zergling Mutalist build, you get a bunch of Mutalists, harass your opponent, see if you can possibly sneak in there with a handful of Zerglings, take out turrets, move the uh, opponent's army around to locations they don't want to be. Meanwhile, um, you're going to be uh, forcing your opponent to stim so much that the medics are energy-less by the time they leave. This could also be a mistake here from Washington. Washington moving out here, trying to force his opponent to make sunken colonies. Looks like it did manage to work. Quad barracks up here. The scanner's going to come out just in time to spot. The spire is going to be on the way. This engineering bay, he's really cutting corners here. Uh, getting the engineering bay out this late, but uh, I think that's pretty smart as well. Well, it looks like uh, Washington did already stim once. Now he's going to have to use those stims sparingly when those mutalists rush in here. And oh no, the Zerlings are going to get in here. Um, maybe not if you can shoot down those Zerlings. One link still remains. Bam. He did not get the opportunity to see the four barrackses in this build, which is going to be heavily focused on Medic Marine early on with upgrades. All right, well, the turrets are on the way. So are the Mutalists. They're going to be done pretty soon here. This may be a risky move here for Huashin to be moving out like this. Hopefully, Washington has his sniper rifles on those Marines. Well, this could be really bad for uh, Washington with the Mutalists on their way over here. He's going to move in here. One drone uh, hiding over here. He's going to get the first turret. 
And I think the second will finish in time. Oh, God, that was pretty bad control there by effort. He's going to have to move around to the back. Boom, takes out the SCV, making the factory. That's going to delay on how soon the starport can be made. And that means that the best is going to come out a little bit later. And you can see right now that the Zerg is focusing most of, atten of his attention over that factory so that they cannot get up um, in time to allow uh, anything else, uh, such as the starport, to get done. Another great snipe over there by Effort. And the den is up. Evolution Chamber. This is a heavy uh, two-base build here. Not very focused on economics. And here we go. Taking out a few more Marines here. Bam. The, oh, God. Washington cannot afford to keep losing that uh, SCV, which is making the factory. The uh, starport is never going to come out at this rate. And you can see clearly that uh, Effort knows that, and he's going to go for a very aggressive attack here on the front. He did uh, throw away a few Zerglings for uh, no real benefit there, but Effort's definitely looking pretty strong right now. Well, the hatchery, um, a rather late hatchery compared to what we normally see in a Zerg versus Terran, but certainly um, not a poorly timed one because uh, I think uh, this aggressive maneuver, which um, Effort is setting up for, could prove to be very effective, especially with the Terran unable to get tanks or vessels out in time. Lurkers are just so powerful, especially in combination with Mutalists. Looks as though Effort's actually going to move out here. Um, or excuse me, um, Wash is going to move out here and try to take out this expansion to the top left, but Lurkers could be morphed here uh, on the ramp and block off the Marines. Oh! He just did that. Those eggs, very difficult to kill. They have so much armor. However, it doesn't look like Wash is going to be able to do anything too effective. Um, over there in the middle, oh my god. Wow. Houdini just made that Lurker disappear. Effort needed to keep that expansion alive. I thought the lurkers would be over there in time. They were not. You sometimes, if you're attacking a unit and you're dealing so much damage to the egg, um, right when it finishes morphing, the unit, instead of doing the death, the animation literally disappears, evaporates, vaporizes. That's what happens when those sniper uh, guns are fired from Washington, the red sniper. All right, here we go. Slowly leapfrogging these lurkers over here. He might be able to come in here from two angles. Actually, that could be incredibly risky, though. Mutalists and lurkers sitting up here. He scans. He's going to do it. What? This could be terrible. It does look like it's going to work, though. Nice play. Wow. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Wow. Initially, I was worried that might not work out, even though he was coming in there from two sides. Everett's in awful condition. All of a sudden, Quashin is back in this game. And Overlord's going to get picked off as well here. I'm sure he already had food freed up anyways. All right, it looks like this map is actually kind of favored towards Terran as I see a stack. 13 wins on this for Terran. Oh, really? As Any opposed to six, uh, six wins for Zerg. Oh, wow. So Everett's really in a tricky position here trying to take on the Terran on a map like this. All right, well, it looks as though um, Effort may be getting ready for a counterattack, although I think um, our player Washington is starting to sense that. His StarCraft senses are tingling. He's going to move back here. The flank was spotted. Washington is in great condition right now. Plus one armor for the Zerg. I do believe uh, Terran already has plus one attack, however, and plus two is probably on the way. The Hive is up. The Defiler mound almost complete. He needs Defilers right now more than ever. Well, Zerg does have a pretty big army. I think this is going to be the big battle up here. He stims moves out there. Nice throw here. Washington's going to have to back up. 
He's got to be really careful to not lose that vessel. He's going to have all of his momentum going if he just has that science vessel alive. He can irradiate the first defiler and keep the push strong. Oh, this is going to be tough. There is one Scorch. Where is your buddy? Oh, he's going to move in there. A nice controller by Effort. Oh, my wow. God. That's what? a lot of dead what? units. I don't even understand this game anymore. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> well, Effort um, just magically got a bunch of units. Show me the money cheats. He just um, he just annihilated everything Washington had. Great flank there as well. Effort macro is just so good. Here comes another furrow. Washington seems to be somewhat prepared. This is just incredible. Uh, the play we're seeing here. Uh, pretty soon here, uh, Washington's going to need to get an expansion. Meanwhile, Effort uh, Defiler should be out by now if it's not already. All right, we got double vessels coming up here. He's probably going to be neglecting tanks for the time being. There's really no point in getting a lot of tanks. He needs all the irradiates he can get to take out defilers. All right, two defilers are out. Terran should probably be scanning to try to spot where they are and see if he can sneak off and irradiate. Here's another defiler over there. And the scores. Good. Oh, oh, not again. Wow. Oh, no. Now Wash is stuck in this location on the map where there's really nowhere to run. The filers are everywhere. Oh, my God. He is getting stomped on. Wash it is getting torn to pieces here, trying to retreat, but to no avail. I'm sure Plague is almost done as well. Here comes another amazing Dark Swarm. Oh, God, this is going to get ugly. Bam! Wiping out these Marines. Washington still doesn't have another expansion out. He does have one dropship. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Well, if he gets in there with the dropship and takes out the Spire, that could be helpful. But even then, I don't know if uh, there's anything Washington can do right now. Oh, God. It's gotten spotted. Whoa! Scores are moving in here. Man, effort is so much better than the last time I casted his games. He has improved so much. This guy is everywhere. Unbelievable. A few more links over here. Effort is all over Washington. He's all over him like white on rice, like red on kimchi. I mean, he is just all over his opponent. Upgrades are, are looking really good here for the Zerg, so Terran's not going to get an advantage there. Really, it's going to boil down to Washington's ability to micro, and right now it doesn't look like he has that ability there. Well, it looks like Zerg's uh, trying to get really aggressive here. Continuing to move forward. Wow, fantastic attacks here. And, oh, bam and damn. And boom, there goes the dynamite. This is just outrageous. 2-2 two -two here for the Terran. He can easily mow down those Zerglings. Looks like, um... Looks like he's pushing in, too. Looks like Washington's going to try to be aggressive here, but he has no vessels. Oh, my God. Uh oh This is a good day for Scourge. Even if they die when they kill stuff, at least their lives are not in vain. Nice to radiate, though. Oh, man, once again... Oh my gosh, and an incredible plague here. This is just phenomenal. Look at that. Wash, it looked like he might have been able to do something back there, but no, once again. Looks like Effort really wants his revenge from losing that yeah, day. Yeah, no kidding, Effort is pissed. Look at this, this Zergling seriously just took out seven Marines in, I believe, uh, two seconds. The scariest Zergling ever to be in a StarCraft game. Well, Terrence saw hasn't expanded yet. We see something on the minimap over there at the bottom right. 
过海来过，可是马哥在这。Man, oh man, oh man! Literally, I don't think uh, Washington's ever been able to get more than three vessels out here, even though he's pumping from two starports. I think Washington is also going to be troubled by a lot of ultralists coming up here in a little bit. Nice irradiates there. Boom! Another dark swarm. Oh my gosh! Another play. Effort has gotten so good. I just cannot believe my eyes. He was pretty sloppy when I cast him last time. Well, honestly. like I said, I mean, within this week, I'm sure he knew he was got a chance to play against Washington again, and he's really just he's prepared. He's definitely prepared for this. This is just so exciting for me to see how much effort has improved. I mean, Washington's a very notable player, very popular uh, Terran player, um, and here he is having such a hard time. Getting anywhere against this phenomenal Zerg. Looks like we're going to see an effective attack over here at the bottom right. The first time Scourge is having taken out everything that's flying. Oh wow! Look at that nice positioning here by Washington. Fire bat. Oh my God! It doesn't even matter. Oh my gosh! He actually managed to get in there. Double dropship though. Hold that thought. Double dropship. Single dropship. Single dropship. Um. This could not get worse for Washington. This is amazing to me. The effort is... You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of um, Jadong versus Lomo last season. Wow, and these links are going to spawn. And Ultralisk is in the fury with this. Wow, okay, the... Command center is lifted. Terran's going to be mined out in his main expansion soon here. Effort is defined. The statistics on this map. And once, uh, well, this defiler uh, is a quitter. You can see that uh, Washington's, yeah, oh, oh my God, Washington's economy is hurting big time. It's all going to boil down to this moment over here at the bottom right, this map. Uh, excuse me, this uh, expansion on the map. He has to take out that expansion. Oh, no, not again. No way. Oh, my God. How many has he lost in this game? I seriously think he's lost about seven to eight uh, vessels. <laughs> plus two armor, plus three attack here for Washington. Um, doesn't look like Effort has much of an army. Oh no! But he stepped into a lurker trap. Oh my gosh! It could not get any worse oh, right stand, now. But that was way too late. Oh man! Oh man! That was a great lurker trap set up there by Effort. Effort now just has to make a small army and attack that bottom right location. Oh man! What? Fantastic game here. A few ultralists moving in here. Four ultralists to be exact. And with a defiler there. Oh! Here we go again. Oh my goodness. Effort is just looking so good right now. I mean, he's, he is just in such good condition. I think we might have to stick with the princess nickname instead of the yeah, red no sniper kidding. here. The red sniper, his gun has jammed or something. I don't know what's happening. And, you know, this is four ultralists dealing that much damage to you. Only five Marines there and uh, a motley crew of Zerg units moving down there. All right. Get inside that bunker because there's going to be a lot of efforts units coming your way in a minute here, Marines. Oh my god, another vessel? You know, if you get a, a handful of vessels softened up like that, um, where they're at one health from the plague, you're basically, uh, all you need to do is get one mutalisk and you can just do a few uh, attacks, you know, those blades bounce, and you just, you just win the game right there. Great, uh, great micro here by Washington. I don't think it's really enough, though. This expansion over at the bottom right should be gone. The barracks uh, cannot all be producing. The SCVs, group map over there. And GG. Good game. Wow. Bam. Effort. Wow, you have impressed me.
that effort guy, man. I, uh, he has just gotten, I mean, what, like two months ago, three, no, maybe like three or four months ago, he was losing games to Costrell. Now he's wow. dominating Washington Naps. That appeared to favor Terry. Again, though, I mean, I think it's just he's probably driven. He just he got smashed. Oh, not not smashed. But he, got, he lost to Hudson, um last week, and it was a game that was really close too. I mean, it was a game where everyone's like, "Oh, he has a shot at it." Yeah. Um, though I know in that game, Hwasin did have the upper hand for most of the time. Yeah. Um, but this time around, he like he's been practicing. You can tell. Yeah. No kidding. Wow, is he good? Uh, his scourge micro was just so impressive to me. Normally, you see, um, you know, the scourge does not work, you know, 100% of the right, time. Right. And here, I think we had one mess up with scourge. That is so hard to do. How many of uh, the total, like, probably I like eight say, or nine? I, I want to say might have been 10 or 11 oh vessels my God. that were killed back there. Because he was going to port. I mean, he was making vessels the right, entire right. game. That's and true. Just a few drop ships, but seriously. Whoa. So... Congratulations so, uh, to him on that game. Even if he gets <laughs> eliminated by Huashi now, I've, I've gained a lot of respect for him. Um, we well, don't what have do you the... think? Uh, oh, what? No, 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 nothing. Go ahead. Uh, oh. I was just going to say, you know, what do you think Huashi should be doing next game? I mean, I know we're going to be playing on Destination, right? Um, is that going to make any of it more of a difference to him? Um, I don't know what Huashi should be doing. I would say maybe go for a really aggressive strat since clearly uh, effort um, late game is just too good. Yeah. Um, maybe go for a different build order. Control your vessels better. Yeah. That's for sure. My gosh. All right. Well, from my stats here, Terran Zerg on destination. It looks like Terran has eight wins while Zerg has 11. But again, I guess that doesn't really mean anything since uh, effort went ahead and beat Huashi on a more Terran favored map. So uh, this might actually help effort out some more yeah we'll see